Hello and welcome to a video I wanted to do on how Linux Mint can revive your old netbook. As we can see here, I've got three or so applications running. Uh, all run very quickly, I can open them up, no problem. Very good performance from a low-end netbook. This particular model is a Aspire 1 ZG5, very old, one of the lower ends you could get back in the day. Um, but it still works perfectly well. Linux Mint performs fantastically. Uh, I, I mean, it's a lot better than XP anyway. So uh, even though I've got three items open, I can load up something right now, like the video player, loads up straight away. So as far as performance goes, you know, it's, it's very good. Uh, as far as drivers go, all of the drivers I needed installed themselves first time around for me. So I didn't need to find anything. Uh, it, it all did it automatically, which is very nice. Even the webcam and the inbuilt microphone works. So, yeah, I mean, it's quite impressive. It's a lot better than XP for uh, netbooks, as far as I'm concerned. Now, to put Linux Mint on your netbook, you're going to need a USB boot stick. And basically, what you want to do here is Google Linux Live USB Creator. You click on the first link. Uh, there's a download link there. And uh, straight away, you can click on that to download it and install it. As far as I'm aware, it's only available for Windows, as you can see here. So I can't demonstrate it through Linux Mint, which is a problem. But I can tell you, it's very simple. All you have to do is download the Linux Mint ISO image. If we look for Linux Mint here. Uh, there are. A, I used the fully functional DVD-sized image, and it worked fine. I used Linux Live to take this ISO and I put it onto a one, no, it was a two gigabyte USB pen because the ISO image will be a gigabyte, which uh, doesn't quite fit onto a one gigabyte volume, so I recommend a two gig. Now, as far as 32 or 64 bit goes, uh, your netbook probably is a 32 bit, but if you're not sure, you can always just Google your netbook model number, so Aspire 1 ZG5, as I mentioned earlier, and uh, I like to use Wikipedia or, you know, manufacturer site really is best, but just look for any link that tells you what processor you have here. Now, processors do determine if you can use a 32-bit operating system. So here it says uh, Intel Atom N270 uh, or N280. Now, I know for a fact this one uses an N270 because uh, I've looked at the manufacturer site. So if you put in Atom N270 into your search bar there, the first link you should get is your Intel or AMD uh, manufacturer site, and this will tell you if you can have 32-bit or 64-bit. Now, you're looking for instruction set here, and it says 32-bit, so I know that I can only use a 32-bit uh, operating system. I've downloaded that uh, and burnt it to a USB pen, uh, booted the netbook. One thing you will have to do is set the BIOS to boot from USB for this particular netbook. You had to press F2 at the start and change the boot order and that was that was fairly simple so it performs well uh, it's fairly easy to install outperforms windows massively i'm not sure if it's any faster than uh, ubuntu netbook edition but it's certainly more fully featured i can work my way around this a lot better so thanks for watching i hope i've persuaded you to try linux mint on your old netbook and uh, i'll see you next time